boss battle and excuse you, mister. And... <laughs> <laughs> I burped, I muted it. Mike probably picked it up. <laughs> hey guys, Smashcast, you're I'm AG and PJ and Max. AKA a High Rules Legend, and we're going to be doing a top 10 list of characters that won't be in Super Smash Bros. 4. So, at number 10, we have Professor Layton, and the reason he's not going to be in the game is because he doesn't really have a moveset. Well, he kind of does have a moveset, but I think he would just be one of those characters that were meant to be an assist trophy. Kind of like Waluigi, I'm sure they can incorporate some things, but I don't really think Professor Layton could be a character. But there is the reason why he's number 10 is because he kind of does have a chance. So what do you guys think? Yeah, he could probably be in. Max? Yeah, yeah I think I agree. with. All right. Okay, now for number 9, we have Rob. Now, Rob was already in Brawl, but the only thing was that he was more of one of those tra troll characters, which would be the Wii Fit Trainer this time around, yeah. and whether he comes back or not is definitely the big question, because no one really wants him in, let's be honest, and we could put in a Rob. Rob. Yeah, Rob's cool and everything, but <laughs> the 3DS does have a limited space, and we don't want to spend it on a character that doesn't have an, an amazing moveset as other characters would have had, such as Zorark, um, Mewtwo, Isaac from Golden Sun. So there's, there's a lot of potential here, so we'd like to see that incorporated with some cooler stuff. And plus, Rob hasn't had a game in a long time, and I don't remember since last time. He only had one long. game. <laughs> As long as I'm concerned. But Rob, I think, was shown, I think, at GDC, though. There was, like, it was in some collectibles. He was in the collectibles. Oh, oh gosh. If he, if he gets in the game, I'm going to be mad. So what do you guys think? Uh, I don't think um, he should be in the game. He's, I think he's a waste of space, Max. Yeah, I think they could definitely um, put a much more wanted, cooler character. <coughs> you too. <coughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> For number eight, we have Roy from Fire Emblem. Um, he hasn't had a game in a really, really long time. He first made his appearance in the in uh, Smash in Melee, and uh, he was a decent character. But he made another appearance in Fire Emblem Awakening. But Sakurai has said that he wants to incorporate characters from the original games of the series. So Marth was in the first game, is was in the first Fire Emblem game. So this is why Roy. Um, is not going to be confirmed because he was also not confirmed in Brawl. So what do you guys think about it? Uh, I agree. Um, although Roy was one of those seven people who did not get finished, mm -hmm. which is why we have him higher in the list, I still think that they're just going to give up on him. Yep. AG? Yeah, for me, I don't exactly want Rob. I'd rather have Crom in and everything, or at least mm -hmm. Lucina. Definitely. So, that's who I'd rather have. Anyways, at number seven, we're, we got Toad. Um, Toad is up here because he's up higher because he's been in recent games, like, he's been appearing a lot in more of the, like, new Super Mario Bros. games, but yet... He doesn't really have a move set, and Sakurai said himself that why m make a character when the move when you have to think hard about the move set, and that's a good point. And also, Toad is part of Peach's move set with the little Toad doll, so that just kind of lowers his chances a bit. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be confirmed. I don't just see him having a move set, and he yeah, as you said, he is part of Peach's move set. So yeah, Iggy. If Waluigi wasn't added, Toad's not going to be added. That's all yeah, I can say. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And number six, we have Marks. Now, if you don't know who Marks is, that is from uh, the antagonist from Kirby Superstar Ultra for the th DS, and he is kind of like, ha has a jester with a jester hat, and he has like these big wide wings, and 
he was on, like, I think I saw him on, like, one top 10 list, but that was about it. The only reason that I think that he won't be in would be because Marx was, hasn't been seen since, and on top of everything, Marx doesn't have much of a moveset. He's only used for, like, maybe, like, three different moves and in the boss battle, and I don't think they want to create, like, a whole moveset for him, and, yeah, I don't think. What do you, what do you guys think about him? Yeah, I agree. He didn't ha- I played through that game as well, and he didn't have a very wide move set. It was just like two or three moves yep. that really do- it'd be harder to incorporate into Smash. Yeah. Um I don't I don't think Marks would be in the game at all. Um I remember playing through Superstar Ultra. It was it I used to play it so much, but it's just one of those characters that just weren't meant to be. So, yep. Anyways, at number five, we have the Koopalings, which if you aren't informed of who they are, and if you weren't, you might want to check your Mario. Um, they're Bowser's quote-unquote kids, and um, basically, we think they're not going to be in the game because, one, it'd be hard to make seven characters in the game, I mean, they did it with Pokemon Trainer, but that was three, and would just be a lot harder. But it's up there a bit more because of Mario Kart 8 and all the Koopalings appearing in Mario Kart 8. But yet, Mario Kart 8 is a game with more expandable, like, roster. I just don't see them in the game. What do you guys think? Yeah, a Koopalings would... I think Koopalings should be an assist trophy that would be so OP. And if so, it would be one of the one of the most OP assist trophies in SSB4, I would think. So what do you think, AG? Yeah, I, I would like to see it on an assist trophy, too. It would be a lot like that Tang and Soldiers assist trophy. Yeah. And that would be kind of cool. Or it would also look kind of like Pit's Final Smash, so... At number four, we have Ridley. And I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but whatever. Ridley is just too big. <laughs> um, if they shrunk him, it wouldn't really be the same. And he was cut out of Brawl as a boss. And um, I'm pretty sure you see Ridley in one of the Smash trailers. Not sure about that, but um, I think I think Ridley. yeah, I think Ridley would have like a really good move set. But as an assist trophy, it would be one of those really OP ones. So what do you guys think? Um, yeah, before I say what I think, um, just adding to your thought of uh, being in the trailers, I'm pretty sure he was in the Melee trailer for oh, when yeah, Melee also. was announced at E3. Yeah, also. But um, also, I agree. Ridley, he's a boss. I mean, you don't see a lot of bosses that are huge like Ridley being shrunk and mm-hmm. put into the game. Like Bowser, for example, he's not a huge boss, and that's why he's a good character in the game. And, yeah. What do you think? AG? Yeah, for me, like, if they did shrink him down, I guess it would be okay, because for Olimar, he's, like, actually grown up, because, like, compared to Marth, Mar- Marth and anyone, they're, like, super tall, but Olimar is smaller than a flower, so they could resize him, and it did work for Olimar. Whether or not he'd be a playable character, I don't know, but... I, he was technically, I think I read on a wiki that he was an assist trophy kind of Forbidden 7 guy, where they, he was unfinished as an assist trophy, so probably just cut him out because he's too OP, so most likely we won't see him for this game for the same reasons. Three, Snake. The one reason that he's not going to be in the new Super Smash Brothers is because he was in Brawl and everything, but he has been requested by Hojima Kojiuma um, since Melee, and possibly even before that, and since he's also best friends with Sakurai himself, uh, that would earn him a big spot, and I know that uh, the developer of MGS did say that he wanted Snake to be in Super Smash Brothers, but guys, if he doesn't release a game on a Nintendo console, they're not going to favor him. And that's the one reason why I think Snake isn't going to come back. And honestly, he wasn't that cool of a third-party character. Like, he was pretty cool and everything, but he's nowhere near as cool as, like, the new guys that we're getting. We have Sonic, we have Pac-Man, assuming that we'll get him because of Namco Bandai, and we also have Mega Man, so I think that's okay. And Little Mac. Anyway, so Snake, 
when he was first released, people were like, oh my gosh, he should be on PlayStation, blah, blah, blah. We now have Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D on the 3DS. So if he were to get in the game again, it would be for that sole reason alone, considering MGS5 was released not on a Nintendo console. So, yeah, what do you think, Max? I agree. Um, I'm not much into, like, MGS. that whole... Yeah, MGS. And, but... The reasons you guys are saying sounds pretty legit, and I, for one, just I didn't ever like Snake. I don't know why. I just didn't find him as a good character, mm-hmm. and I found him being overused a lot. Yep. Up at number two is Gino. Um, the sole reason he won't be on in any smash brothers game in the future is because square enix the company that made um super Mario rpg legend of the seven stars the game he's from he, they have unpartnered with nintendo sense and getting the rights the legal rights to use gino would just be com- hard and not worth it what do you guys think yeah, I, I, I think Gino would be such a cool character considering all of his moves in Super Mario RPG. But, as you said, it won't happen because of Square Enix. It's it's kind of sad, but yeah, so what do you think, AG? Yeah, I, I love to see him in, but as you all said, like because of the rights are owned by Square, and I don't think that they're going to be asked by Nintendo. And even if they did, they would probably make Nintendo pay money, and I don't think Nintendo wants to pay for a character to be in Super Smash Brothers, unless it's Mega Man or some really big character who really gets the big audience to the game. So, number one! Sora! So, basically, we're all gonna say this one. So, basically, Sora won't be in the game because, like, Kingdom Hearts is made for PlayStation, and there's only been about... If I recall, about three like, or four games for three. Nintendo systems. Yeah, so, I think it's yeah. three. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about Sora? I don't think they'll be in simply because, like you said, they've only made three games, I think, on Nintendo consoles yep. and the rest on solely PlayStation. PlayStation. Mm-hmm. And that just lowers the chances by a lot. And I know it'd be a cool character to have in the game, but sadly... Yeah, definitely. Just a lot that's... of people, a lot of people, have Sora on their lists for who they want in SSB4, but it, it really won't happen. I'm sorry, guys. What do you think, AG? So, since the fact that Disney and Square Enix own this character, just I don't think that's going to happen because Disney does have their own series. They have um, Disney Infinity, and I don't think any of those characters are ever going to appear on any other crossover game other than Disney Infinity. And whether or not uh, Disney comes out with a Smash Bros. kind of version for themselves uh, is up to them. But Sora being on a few Nintendo consoles, I don't think it makes to play in Smash Bros. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave a comment below and join the discussion on what you thought of this list. Maybe if we missed something, you can tell us. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Smash Podcast. And follow Hyrule's Legend on Twitter at iHyrule's Legend. Yep, and Smash Guy signing out. Peace.